Hello, people that in the house there. Today I'm talking about a t uh, town I never talked about before, Kilkenny. And about a mosque that was going to be built but is not going to be built now. Because on board Panala and along with local residents have objected to a super mosque, which is the first time I ever heard such a word of a super mosque in Ireland. Like, good God, where the hell did they pull that out of? Like, <laughs> like it's mad. A super mosque. Like, this, I don't know what these people understand, these. Uh, People who want these mosques and all that, they have, play, they have a place, but why would they want a super mosque? And it's ridiculous, and this person's still giving out about it. I would say to him, if he has the money to build, if they have the money to build a huge super mosque in Kilkenny, couldn't, I'm sure there's homeless people, I'm sure there's nearly 160 homeless people probably in Kilkenny alone. I'm sure that would, if, he, if he could build apartments, maybe he might be let build a super mosque, this person. And why would he... Like, if they have a place already, like, why would you want to build a super mosque? One place is enough, not 500 places popping up in the country. And why would you want to build it? Like, good God, there's people homeless. They deserve it more than these people. Because they're just being selfish, literally. Thinking they could just build a mosque, a mosque and just... And then forget about the homeless people. They have the money for it. Like, the Irish government is struggling to build houses and pay for houses. Like, it's nearly a million for one house. Maybe they should think about building that, because it's obviously these... I don't know who, Islamic cultures that are trying to build this super mosque. And they should, yeah, you know, get the money and give back to the Irish people who have let them into this country, who have kindly given them a place to stay, some place in Kikin, some place in the Kikani, have kindly given them a place already, a little hall already to use. And now they just want to throw everything back in their face and be like, we want a super mosque. And fair play to the local people down there, saying, no, we were not allowed. We were not allowed. Why should we? There's homeless people out in the street and you're, you're there and you're going to build a huge super mosque. Damn right they should complain. I mean, I pat them on the back. I pat every citizen of Kilkenny on the back. And I pat the fucking on bomb Pinola's back. I usually never take off for them, but fair play to them for denying them. And I hope they don't let it. I hope even if they fire up if these Islamic countries fire them fifty million dollars at um, Bob Panola, I hope they don't decide to I hope this is the decision and I hope they won't go back on it. Because I know if that was me as uh, in Kikenny I would say full stop. We're not no discussion about it. End of story. No more. Good luck to you. Bye. We worry about uh, we worry about the people on the street first. And then when the homeless crisis is over, the housing crisis, we might think about letting you build this place. But when this is happening, no way Jose People come first before buildings and religion. People's health and people's well-being comes first before religion. Full stop. And you might say that's a bit harsh, but it is, it is harsh. But it's in war time, I suppose you could say. Because yeah, Ireland is in an emergency. So, full stop. No, good luck to you. Build somewhere else. Go to Spain. Good luck to you. <laughs> good luck to you. Uh, so, yeah, take a watch and subscribe more. Bye.